Hey there folks, Uncle Troy here, recording with my Logitech uh, HD Webcam C510. I always forget all the little numbers and everything. Um, minor problem with this webcam, uh, I noticed it back when I was playing uh, with my Vista computer uh, using this webcam that sometimes it would suddenly decide it was not plugged into a USB 2.0 port. It would suddenly pop up a message saying uh, you've got this camera connected to a USB 1.1 port uh, you get better performance if you plug it into a 2.0 port, and uh, which surprised me because I thought all the uh, USB ports on that computer were 2.0. But it's also the Frankenstein computer. It's been built from spare parts over the years, so I figured, okay, well maybe it's just you know something in Windows. I've you know updated Windows two or three versions uh, to end up with Vista. I'd updated the hardware. I think I had like some of my USB ports were like on board from the motherboard uh, run over. Some were an extra card I'd plugged in. So I thought, well, maybe it's getting confused. Maybe it just doesn't realize it's a USB 2.0 all around. But when I got my new computer running Windows 7, brand new hardware, everything's wired to the same motherboard, uh, I'm still getting the occasional error where it says, you've plugged this into a USB 1.1 port. Please plug it into a USB 2.0 port to get the full uh, benefit of the camera and then it will drop me down to a much lower resolution. Uh, and like I said, I've got USB 2.0. I'm pointing over here at this computer, which you can't see, so I don't know why I'm bothering, but I'm still pointing right over there. Uh, it's got USB 2.0 ports. It's also got USB 3.0. And even when I plug it into the USB 3.0, it still says, sometimes just pop up for no reason, apparently, that it's got it's been plugged into a one point USB 1.1 port and I need to plug it into a 2.0 port to get the best performance. Uh, all I can think of is that well two possibilities. Possibility one is there's some minor momentary uh, interruption in the data stream. Uh, the USB port for whatever reason for a few seconds or even a fraction of a second stops accepting the uh, the flow of information. Maybe there's some disk caching involved. Uh, maybe Windows is like moving some files around internally, doing something that slows down the USB bus for just you know a small amount, just long enough for the camera to think I'm not, or the camera software rather, to think that you know it's not transmitting uh, data as fast as it's supposed to. The other possibility is that perhaps my the camera sometimes takes more power than the whatever it's rated for. Uh, USB ports are supposed to be guaranteed a minimum uh, supply of 100 milliamps, I think, and then afterwards you're allowed to negotiate up to 500 milliamps. And I think that's the old 1.0 or 1.1 1 .1, uh, standard. Uh, newer standards even higher uh, amounts of current. But I suppose it's possible that for some reason the camera needs a little extra current at some time. The USB port says, no, I can't provide that, and it uses that to base as that as a basis to say I'm plugged into an older USB port. Whatever it is, it's very annoying. And I put up with it for a very long time because I had uh, was using a Frankenstein computer and I figured it was my fault somehow. But now that I'm using a brand new computer, uh, latest version of the software, and of course the same old camera, I'm not going to buy a new camera just to test this. Uh, it just seems odd, so I was wondering, uh, any of you, anybody else, had problems like this with the uh, Logitech HD Webcam C10. Again, I'm reading off the screen here. Uh, the similar problem with it deciding it is not plugged into a USB 2.0 port even though it is and asking you to plug it into a different port. Uh, and if you've had that problem, how did you solve it? Uh, I solve it by simply unplugging the port or unplugging the cord from the port whenever I'm not using the camera because and then the longer I leave it unplugged for some reason the less likely it is that it's going to throw up that error message when I plug it in and start recording. So I just unplug it whenever I'm uh, finished recording. In fact, I'm going to unplug it now. Uncle Troy signing out. Please have a good night.